Uh, hey people. <laughs> oh my god, my cat is so loud. Um, hey everyone, this is uh, Mel Cat, owner of seven abandoned and rescued cats. And I take care of all seven of them in my apartment. Um, basically, uh, for those of you who's new, I basically share how I raise seven cats in a tiny apartment. So hopefully I can get in touch with more potential multi-cat owners out there because I think we can actually all adopt more cats. Okay, anyway, so what I learned today is that, um, I don't know, I think people probably identified me as like the girl with like seven cats. Hey, yo, what up, what up? Um, so I think people actually identify me as the girl with seven cats. And not only um, do they call me the crazy cat lady now, well, actually they've been calling me that since a long time ago. Hey, these are Carlos. That's Coco cool, cool right there. And what happens is that um, when they have cat questions, like they, they ask me, I'm like, okay, all right. So I'm glad I'm getting my certification for my veterinary technician. Not only that, when they have animals that they know somebody abandoned or they know somebody's about to abandon, they call me up. Okay. And then when somebody wants to adopt an animal, they call me up. So you can imagine like what kind of calls I get. And even people who haven't really like contact me, contacted me for like a long time, like they'll call me, they'll be like, yo, do you have like a British short hair for, uh, for adoption? I'm like, yes. How did you know that? Cause I just post them like online. I, yeah, just, you know, just to help my neighbors because I have a few neighbors that own pet grooming stores and people pretend to bring their animals uh, into groom, specifically cats, and they just leave them there. Yeah, so I guess that's abandonment, right? It's like your mom taking you to school and never come back. What the hell, man? Anyway, oh, okay. I know, it's a biatch, hey, Gaga. Look at how he's striking a pose there. Anyway, um, so I think for my, uh, for my blog, right, because I started my blog not too long ago, um, I think I have to put a section in there where I can just post um, the animals that people found or slash abandoned or fostered. I should just like list them there and you guys can all go check there and I'll, I can let you guys like sort by region or something. So I don't have to say it like a gazillion times to different people and then I have to like vet out the people, strike a post, eat my heart out. I know, yay. Woo, woo, woo. Um, but yeah, like the vetting process basically is talking to the people one like one by one and um, seeing if they're suitable. Oh my God, a fight just broke out over there. Sir Carlos, did you just kick Silo's ass? He took your spot, didn't he? Yeah, okay, that's your spot. Shiloh, okay, did he? You see if your tail is still there. Okay, just double check on his bandage. Okay, he's still good. All right, oh, sorry, he got kicked out. Game on, I know, eh? Game on. Okay, anyway, um, so what I learned from these abandoned animals is that when people abandon a breeded cat, I started thinking one thing, right? Like when cats are all cute and stuff and when they're pedigreed, people want them when they're like kittens and they're cute, but then when they get big and when they get fat and old and stuff, they don't want them anymore. So just because an animal's good looking doesn't necessarily mean that they'll have a good life. You know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't mean they'll have a good life. Um, it actually almost guarantees the opposite of anything. Like somebody wants an animal just because they're cute. But then the, the reason why they don't want them anymore is because they are quote unquote, not cute in their regard. Um, that's retarded. But then on the other hand, there's the, yeah, there's the cats that are like, you know, the domestic short hair. They're just like the, the normal, you know, the, ooh, the normal stray cats and stuff like, like them, right? And my speculation is people who actually have these just take them as they are, you know, because they're not pedigreed and they come in any kind of color or patterns that are deemed quote unquote, not cute, which is not true. I think they're all cute. I think all animals, all cats are cute. It's humans that are not cute. Did I just say that? Okay, anyway, uh, yeah. So it doesn't guarantee that they're gonna be loved and they'll have a good life. It does not. And in fact, um, it, it makes me kind of think, right? Like as a human being, um, what if I was like all hot and you know, all pretty and stuff and people, everybody wants to date me, but they don't even care about like what's here. Like rather not if I'm a good person, if I'm intellectual or anything, they're like, yeah, I'll have her. But then, then what? Like, you know, you know, what if she's not hot anymore? 
you know, after that's over, then you don't want her. I think that actually happens in the human world too, I think. But then I can't speak for it because I'm neither hot or, yeah, physically desirable. So it's hard to say. Get going in a hurry. Okay. Gotta get in here, Nelly. What are you talking about? Okay. So yeah, that's the lesson that I've learned is that um, it's very, it's even harder to find pedigreed cats a good home when they're abandoned because everyone wants them because they're pedigreed and yeah. And it's even harder to vet out the really good owners too, hey buddy. So, oh, it's hot in here, Take so take off all your clothes. That's old school, that's old school. All right, anyway, look at, that's his body. That's his body, that's just my body. Mm. And where's my jelly Coco? I think he's in the litter box. Um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to say that it's a bit of a vent, um, but I also think that my blog needs to have a classify section uh, for people to just like post their animals, you know? So instead of keep asking me, oh no! <gasps> oh no! I put the revolution, um, five cats in, yeah. Oh, well, I'm, well, I'm just happy to have them. Oh my God, I put revolution on him the other day and he had a little bald spot. I think it irritates your skin. <gasps> Sir Carlos, has that happened to your cats before? Because I used to use Frontline and I switched to revolution lately. Oh, he's got a bald spot. Oh, yeah, but especially in Hong Kong, right? Hey, Andrew, yo, long time no see. Oh, by the way, see this toy? Buddy was only this big when I found him. Look at him. 5D. 5D. Look at how big you are now. Look at how big. Look at. Look at how big he is compared to this thing now. Look at. Look at. He's really growing. Okay, all right. Put you back. Uh, so, yeah, in my website, I'm going to have the sec a section for that because I have become the person that people go to if they want to look for animals. Um, specifically cats because they feel that if I got seven cats um, then my friends should have seven cats and if I got a crazy cat house um, not, not so crazy right but um, if I get a crazy cat house they assume that all my friends have crazy cat houses too right I don't know about that but I guess birds of a feather flock together I guess okay anyway oh yeah check out my new cat dish Just when you thought, this cannot support when this thing's at the bottom, says who? It, it fits, it actually, it works really well. Um, my heaviest two cats can stand on top and nothing happens. Isn't that amazing, huh? Okay, all right, so I just wanted to tell you guys that rescue more animals, and I've been adhering to the same philosophy. I think it doesn't hurt to ask because somebody knows somebody. Um, that's how I rescued all of my cats. That's how I rescued Burrito. That's how I found people to help me rescue them. Yeah, I am an animal lover. I've always, and you actually, I've always been an animal lover. Um, it's really hard to understand for people who don't like animals, especially my parents, because they think it's crazy and they think animals are just animals. Uh, but for me, I I don't see myself as owning my cats. Like, I think I just live with them, you know? They're my family. Um, oh, did I, show, did I show you? Look at, this is what my floor looks like. Cat toy, cat crinkle bag, cat tunnel, cat tunnel, cat scratch board, more cat scratch board, cat tower, cat thingy this I have not cleaned up so yeah so my house is actually really cat oriented um, and, and there's my there's my very condescending cat up here uh, Sparty cat and uh, where's where's the where's my cats yeah so if you guys ever played the cat game it's called Neko Atsumi um, yeah basically my house is like that even this IKEA bag is here because it's Buddy's favorite hangout place. Right, bud, bud? Yeah, yeah, bud, bud. And let's see where's, well, we're here. Let me just show you a quick tour of my house here. Oh, hey, Gaga. Hey, Gaga, what up? Yeah, he's a jelly cat. You've been a jelly cat. I know you've been very jelly of burrito. You've been jealous. I know you have been. 
Um, I did, actually, I still do. I just haven't edited the videos yet. Um, actually, the other one will be coming out this Sunday. Um, funny how you ask, but I just have some final touch-ups, so I can't publish it yet. Because my editing is not the fastest. That's the thing. Um, like, I, th I have about, like, oh, God, 15 of those videos that I still have not posted yet. Oh, by the way, they've been stealing my vegetables. Yeah, right? So, yeah, mummy still goes. It's just that she's very slow on the editing. That's all. That's all. Oh, by the way, check this out. That was amazing, isn't it? So, this explains to you how much I like cats. Cats, 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 cats. All right, that's it. Just want to tell you guys, um, that's the thing that I've learned. And it's... Hmm, I, I just say the more I like animals, the less I I, I like humans. Yeah, it's a sad fact. And that's about it. I'm going to take you guys back into my room here. Oh, by the way, this is Blue Cat. I've, I've never had a dog. I've fostered dogs before. Never really had had one. Yeah, to some extent, I'm kind of scared of dogs. Oh, and this is Blue Cat. This is the one that absolutely hate my guts. She doesn't really want to have anything to do with me. Yeah. Oh wow, this is a good day. She lets me she lets me touch him. Or touch her. Hey buddy. Hey Babed. But she likes my pillow because I got the ergonomic pillow, the one with like a low dip. So this is the most she'll ever take when it comes to me being around. Even that, she just doesn't like me. Alright, blue cat. Oh, wow, this is one in a million days that she'll actually let me pet her. Wow, amazing, amazing. Okay, anyway, you guys, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend more time with my cats right now. Uh, it's more like my day off, so I'm just, yeah, I'm just kicking back. And I'm gonna do absolutely nothing today. I'm just gonna be unproductive. Uh, who do I like the most? Oh, oh, I try not to have a favorite, uh, but a few of my cats don't cling on, onto me, like blue cats. I try to love her, but she doesn't give a shit. Um, I barely have her pictures on my phone because she wouldn't let me get close to her, and she hates me. Um, I love her, but she only lets me love her at a distance. Yellow cat, I like her um, a lot. She's okay with me she can bear with me but she's closer with her siblings buddy I, I like very much I've been spending time with him since um since he's just over a week old so in terms of bonding there's definitely a lot of bonds going on there um Gogol -go, he's like um the, he's like the mojito cat he's definitely good with people um very loyal but he's getting a little bit jealous lately and he doesn't want to I don't know it's just getting jealous so I, I love him a lot, but he's not letting me love him lately. I know, but that'll get better. Um, Mui Mui, she's like the ambassador. Where's Mui's Mui Mui? Where's my Mui Mui? Um, but she's also, she's also very lethargic lately. And uh, who else? Uh, Sir Carlos, I like Sir Carlos a lot. Um, he's in an acquired taste. A lot of people will think he's a fierce cat, but really he's not. Um, he's just an acquired taste. You have to know how to pet him and how to how to deal with him. But um, otherwise, he's actually a good cat. Yeah. Um, so do I have a favorite? Mm, kind of. Yes and no. But it changes over time because sometimes, yeah, they just don't want anything to do with me. Mm. All right, let's take a good final look here at Blue Cat. Hey, Blue Cat. Blue Cat. Nope, she tucks in her limbs, doesn't even want me to touch her. You don't even want me to touch you, huh? See? See, watch, watch. No. Oh, wow. Is it my birthday today? Wow, this is the best so far of our interactions. This is the closest I'll, I'll ever, oh, no. This is the closest I'll ever get to her. That's about it. Hey. Nope. No, I should read that book. She's just not that into you. I don't think she's into me at all. At all. Horrible. I don't even know what I did. 
What did mommy do to you? Oh, okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, don't go, don't go, don't go. All right, bye, you guys. I'll just stop it right here. I'm just gonna chill out. Good seeing you guys. I'll see you later.